Welcome athletes, parents, and guardians to section three of the athletic meeting. Our objective tonight at the athletic training parents meeting is to provide information to new parents and athletes and remind returning parents and athletes to the Cedar Crest Athletic Training Services and Procedures. As a quick reminder, the sports medicine team consists of medical professionals licensed and certified in the state of Pennsylvania who work under the guidance of Dr. Jeffrey Yoakum, DO Family Medicine, Yoakum Associates, team and school district doctor. As licensed athletic trainers, we can provide prevention and education, clinical evaluation and diagnosis, immediate care, treatment, rehabilitation and reconditioning, organization and administration, and must follow the Department of Health guidelines. When reporting an injury, a doctor's note is required both by the PIAA and our team physician. Physical therapists and chiropractors are allowed to provide a note, but not for return to play, or clearance to play. Medical notes must be given to the athletic trainer, not the coach, or to the office. We must have the, the note in our hands in order to return you to play. Notes spe must specify the injury and say may or may not return to sport and activities. A medical note will not be accepted for sports if the note says may return to school. The PIAA handbook, section four, page 15, paragraph four, under the heading, medical disqualification of a student athlete states, withholding a student athlete from activity, the member school's team licensed physician of medicine or osteopathic medicine, MD or DO, has the final responsibility to determine when a student athlete is removed or withheld from participation due to an injury, an illness, or a pregnancy. In addition, clearance for the individual to return to activity is solely the responsibility of the member school's team physician of medicine or osteopathic medicine, or the physician's designated representative, which would be the athletic trainers and the school nurse. Under Pennsylvania law, we must follow guidelines for concussions. The student should be evaluated by his or her athletic trainer and a licensed physician of medicine or osteopathic medicine, sufficiently familiar and trained with current concussion management. Cornwall Lebanon School District, athletic team physician and certified athletic trainers will evaluate all head injuries for the evidence of a concussion. The CLSD athletic trainer and the CLSD physician are responsible for the health and safety of all student athletes. Occasionally, this may require superseding your physician's recommendations. The CLSD sports medicine staff will follow a stepwise return to academics and to play procedures for all concussions beginning with removal from play, appropriate treatment until symptom free, and a eventual stepwise progression back to play. Procedures are recognized by the PIAA Sports Medicine Advisory Committee, as well as by national and international conferences on concussion management as appropriate standards of care. It is important that a concussed student rest and not return to play until student receives permission from an MD or DO sufficiently familiar with current concussion management. Also under Pennsylvania law is a sudden cardiac arrest, the PIAA section four, which requires removal from play and return to play. Any student athlete who has signs or symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest must be removed from play. Symptoms can happen before, during, or after activity. Play includes all athletic activity, such as practices, scrimmages, and games. Before returning to play, an athlete must be evaluated. Clearance to return to play 
must be in writing. The evaluation must be performed by a licensed physician, certified registered nurse practitioner, or a cardiologist. The licensed physician or certified registered nurse practitioner may consult any other licensed certified medical professionals. When dealing with medications, if you require any of the following prior to, during, or after an athletic event, a medication form needs to be completed. Such medications would be over-the-counter, OTCs, prescription, supplements, an insulin pump, also requires a letter from a doctor and approved by the PIAA before playing in a game. An inhaler, EpiPen or equivalent, the medication form is found on the ATS system by clicking the e-files tab and then click download. The medication form must be completed by both a parent and doctor under Pennsylvania state law. Paperwork such as the PIAA physical form. There are numerous sections that need to be completed prior to participating. Section seven, required to participate in a winter or spring sport if a physical was completed six weeks prior to the first date of the season or an injury or illness was occurred pr during the season that they participated in the fall. A section eight is used for clearance from an injury or illness that may have occurred during the season, and this is needed to be completed by an attending physician of that injury or illness. Physicals are only good for the present school year ending May 31st and whatever year of that school year. For instance, this year would be 2021, May 31st, 2021. A new physical would be required for next year, 2021, 2022, starting June 1st, 2021. Information regarding any of this that I've mentioned in this uh, section three of our program can be found on the school website, www.clsd.k12.pa.us. Go to the high school site and click the athletics tab. The site will contain information for athletic questions regarding physicals, concussion testing, ATS access, dates, directions, and contact information. 